Hello guys and welcome back. So in this section we are going to talk about adding some other types of uh, fields to your form. So we are going uh, so far we have just covered all the text inputs but now let's also cover some of the other basic fields like a checkbox, a drop down as well as a radio button. So let's first quickly create some fields in here. So I'll name this communication modes. This is going to be a string array. Then we have genders. This is again going to be a string array. And in the ng on init, I'm going to initialize this genders as male female and other and for the communication modes i'm going to specify phone or email all right okay now in this let's start with the radio buttons for genders so i need a div with the class of radio inside which I need a label with a let's not specify anything here but inside this I need an input which is of type radio so let's tap that and so it created a label for me inside which there is an input another label and and then the division and itself now since i have both the labels in the typescript class here i'll just simply loop through them using ng4 and i'll do something like let gender of genders the value of this is going to be now since I'm using the value as a property I should be using property bindings so gender and I'll also use the string binding for gender like so so then I should also add the ng model to it because I need this considered as a form control so let's save this now and go back so right now i'm just seeing one and there are things like uh, ng model options and some errors popping up let's go back and see what the issue is here well if we have a look at the error then it says that uh, if i'm using ng model then the name property should be applied to it so let's apply a name property as well to it uh, so let's do that using here and i'll specify the name as gender let's save this and go back i'm still just seeing one radio button and that's a bit odd okay my bad i should have placed this inside on the label because that is something that is going to be repeated for three times for all the all the genders that we have um, now in this case we should have these three radio buttons getting printed to the screen and let's place a break here so that there is a bit of some space in here okay all right now let's do the same for um, a select list so this should have a class of um, form group and in this we should have a select with some name and id okay, I'll select uh, i'll uh, specify the name as uh, 
communication mode let's just get rid of this id we don't really need it here and inside the select i should have some options with some value okay so i already have these communication options here in the communication modes so i'll just loop through them inside here again with the help of ng4 let com opt of communication modes so the value of this is again going to be com op because i'm simply using property uh, or strings here so and for the option as well this one and let's also place a label here that would be for the name that we have here so for communication modes like so let's save this and go back and looks like we have another error it may happen when a tag has already been closed by another tag maybe i used some tags somewhere in the wrong place okay i, I forgot to close this one let's say communication options and now we have these two communication options by default this empty one is selected but on the select one i guess we can give a class of uh, form control and if i save this then it should be styled as a proper form field and then finally let's also have a look at uh, a checkbox like so i'll just copy this markup here because the markup for a checkbox is similar to that of a radio button and instead of radio we should have a checkbox class on the parent div and agreement is something that we'll be using this for and the name is going to be agreement again the value would be the value of this checkbox when it is checked i've placed an ng model here so that it's considered as a as a value and then in here i'll also place an ng model here like so and then the type is radio so i should change this to checkbox and then in here i'll just simply type in i agree to the terms and conditions like so okay now that we have this form and we can have the value of it as well using uh, the forms name uh, or the or something that is representing the form which is the user form here so let's just quickly type in the name here and this is going to be a javascript object representation of the user form and for that i can simply pass it through the json pipe so that it trans it transforms that into a string so if i save this now i should have the javascript representation okay sorry so this shouldn't be the user form just it should be the user form dot value and i should have the javascript representation of the user form like so there should be an agreement field as well so as soon as i type something in the name let's say john doe then the username is john doe john dot doe at example dot com um then let me just scroll at the bottom and as as soon as i type something in then you'll see 
all these fields getting populated or updated simultaneously. So let's type a phone number, say, like this. And in the website section, let's type in www.google.com as of now. Let's select the gender to be male in this case. And as soon as I select one of these things, then uh, you'll see that all these fields are also getting populated at the bottom. The communication option, let's select it to phone, let's say. And if I click on agreement, then the agreement field would be turned to true. If I unselect it, it's going to be false again. By default, it's going to be uh, an empty string. But if I select this, then it would be true. If I unselect it, it's going to be false. And if I submit this now, then in the ng form, I should also have a field called value again that we have already used here. And this is the value that can be essentially sent out to an API. So say, for example, if this was the user, a new user form or a new user registration form, then this value could be the whole value of this form could be achieved using this value property on, on this ng form object. And that is something that could be sent out to an API for storing it, persisting it. OK, so this was all regarding uh, the value and using uh, fields like a checkbox, radio buttons and drop down lists inside your form. Now, in the next section, we are going to talk about some other things related to forms uh, and especially template driven forms like adding form controls or form uh, control groups to your form. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.